Hi, everybody. So we have um, Natalie back with us again. I think you might remember her. She's from Union College, and we're so excited to see you again, Natalie. Thank you for taking time out of your busy college day. I know you've got exams and papers and all sorts of things going on, and we really appreciate that you're here with us. Um, she's going to read. I'm going to take some pictures, and it's recording now, and um, we'll have some questions at the end. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. This is awesome. Um, yeah, I'm going to read a um, book called Peggy. It's uh, Peggy's a brave little chicken on a big adventure. So there she is. <laughs> All right. Peggy lived in a small house on a quiet street. Oh, Every day, rain or shine, Peggy ate breakfast, played in her yard, and watched pigeons. <laughs> One blustery day, a big gust of wind swept down through the clouds, scooping up the leaves, twigs, and... Peggy! There she is, flying to the city. <laughs> Peggy landed with a soft thud. She was far from home. She picked herself up, ruffled her feathers, and went for a walk. <laughs> and there she is, walking to the city. <laughs> Peggy saw things she had never seen before. There she is on the screen, on the TV is there. I thought that was funny. <laughs> Peggy watched, hopped, jumped, twirled, and tasted. She even found a cozy place um, to rest that reminded her of home, although it was not quite the same. There she is. Peggy missed her home. She tried asking for directions, but people found it hard to understand her. In the rushing crowd, Peggy saw a sunflower like the one in the yard. There she is asking for directions. <laughs> she followed the sunflower. The sunflower sat down, so Peggy sat down too. Outside began, began moving. They were speeding away from tall buildings. When Peggy looked around, the sunflower was leaving the train. Yes. Peggy hopped out of the train, but the sunflower was gone. She watched the sky grow darker as the clouds rolled by. The wind was cold. A flock of birds flew quietly overhead. It was the pigeons. There she was sitting down. Near the pigeons. <laughs> The pigeons knew the way back to her yard. It felt good to be home. This is this little yard. <laughs> Every day, rain or shine, Peggy ate breakfast, played in her yard, chatted with the pigeons. And sometimes, caught the train to the city. There she is with the pigeons on the way to the city. <laughs> and that is it. The end. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Very good. Um, where did you where do you get the books while I'm waiting for people to unmute so they can ask questions? What where do you get your books? I actually this one, one of them my mom sent from home but this one i got from the bookstore on j street uh which is like right down so yeah yeah yep, i love that place the open door yeah yeah that's a cute little book actually not that little bookstore but i love it because it's so 
like a real old fashioned bookstore. Yeah, it's really nice. I go there all the time. I get a lot of books from there. <laughs> yeah. Um, do, does, well, who's the author of the Peggy book? Um, Anna Walker. Anna Walker, okay. Just so I can Google it. Google it. All right, guys, I'm sure you have some questions in room two and in room five. Who wants to get us started? All right, we have lots of questions in room five. Lots, have we have lots of hands up. All right, let's see, Caden, what is your question? Do you have any cats? <laughs> I do not. I mean, I don't. I have a dog though. She doesn't have a cat, but she does have a dog. Nankia, what's your question? She says she has a dog. She said a puppy is a big dog, right? Or is a little dog, right? I know. Yep. I know. I know. Right. Jay. Do you have any fish? I don't know. <laughs> no fish. I don't know. Shia, what's your question? What's your favorite TV show? What's your favorite TV show? Good question. Um, I really like uh, uh, The Big Bang Theory. I also like. Um, I think the last time I said WandaVision because I remember, <laughs> I think that was a question. I, was, I'm a big I like that one too. <laughs> I like WandaVision too. So I'm right there with you. All right, Eddie, what's your question? That's not a question, that's a statement, but we like the book. So we said, you know, we like the book. Andrew, what's your question? Nice waiting. Oh, who is the illustrator? Great question, Andrew. Good question. I think the author is also like, I think she wrote and illustrated it. So Anna Walker is the illustrator. Oh, so the author and the illustrator are the same person, Andrew. So it's Anna Walker. Great question. It's really good. Antonio. Do you have any frogs? <laughs> I have, wait, hold on. I've got a stuffed animal frog though. Does that count? <laughs> Wait, hold that, hold that up again. Let me get yeah. a picture. <laughs> okay. I think we have <laughs> one more. Kaden or two Johnny on the spot. <laughs> oh, Kaden, Kaden has a statement. Kaden, okay. what's your statement? I like the book. He liked the book. Yay, thank you. <laughs> We're working on questions and statements. So. <laughs> they are doing really good with that asking questions thing and making statements now. They've learned a lot this year. Yay. <laughs> All right, room two. Oh. Thank you so much for taking the time to read to yes. us. Thank you. My <laughs> are very busy. They're very busy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much. Kelly had a, um, a meeting and she wasn't able to jump on, but she wanted to say hi and tell you thank you for your time as well and um you know just think in the fall or when you come back for um the fall if you're interested in you know coming by and seeing us and possibly applying for a, a job or you know or just volunteering just um get in touch and we wish you all sorts of luck this summer at your new job and we hope that we hear from you you know or in the end. <laughs> thank you so much. This is thank awesome. you, Natalie. Good luck with thank all your finals. Thank, thank you. you. Say thank you to Natalie. Thank, thank you. you. Have a great day. I'll send you the link and everything later by email. Okay, sounds okay. good. Okay. <laughs> Take care, Natalie. Thank Bye. you. Bye.